Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. So, like a dummy, I forgot to turn on my DX6R. So usually, when I come out, I'm only like five minutes from here, I will turn this radio on at home and I will let it boot because it does take a little bit of time to, well, get up and get going. And unfortunately, today, I forgot. So I've got to sit through this and hopefully in about two minutes from now, I will be able to get running the laser nut. So if you guys did not watch my video on the Creighton EXB, I came out, was running the EXB. I set up that little ramp. I don't even know if you guys can see it right now, but I had set up that little ramp uh, and it was not fun with the Creighton. It was just too wide, but I left it out there for the laser nut because I did bring out the laser nut today as well. So these are going to be two different videos. They're not going to be in the same video, but um, what I wanted to do is I've driven this truck, you know, on dirt and rocks and, and kind of what it was for, what it was made for. Radio is still booting. I've never just kind of came out and casually bashed it on grass, just general running. So that's what we're going to do today. What I'm going to do though, is I'm going to let the radio finish booting, which it still is. Come on. That happens. Oh no. So I did not plan this. Every once in a while, this is what this radio does. And what you have to do is you actually have to go in and force stop YouTube. And it is one of the most painful things you can do. All right, guys, what you didn't see there was about five minutes of me doing exactly what you just saw. So when I say in the last video that I don't like talking about this radio and the deal I did, you can see why. Because that doesn't happen every time. It happens some of the times. But anyways, I shut the camera off there because I realized I was pretty much just eating up my card, filming absolutely nothing. So anyways, let's get out with the laser nut. All right, guys. So again, this is kind of my first uh, rip just on grass with the laser nut. I've always just kind of had it out on dirt and rocks and all that kind of stuff. So this will be, uh, this is kind of interesting. I'm just curious to see what it's like as a general ripping around kind of basher. Whoa! <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't know what I hit there, but I took part of the lawn with me. Oh, this right here. I often hit that with some of my bigger trucks, but it's not as dramatic. All right, let's see what happens if I can take this thing off the ramp. I'm kind of curious. I just want to see guys what my, hopefully you guys can see this. I'm just looking at AVC. Um, I'm just going to up the AVC a bit. Just want to see if that helps with lining up this jump. Oh, that's fun. It's definitely a little, definitely jumps extremely different than everything else I have. Hopefully I got you guys in frame right now. I'm not going to do you guys anything crazy right now because I do want to drive this and kind of enjoy it right now. Trying to adjust. Ah. I think that's better. Ooh. 
Whoa. Definitely a lot of fun guys to drive this. For something that's, you know, like a rock bouncer, rock racer, you're used to it being, you know, solid axle and not behaving or handling this way. But this is seriously a super fun little truck to have. Because it's kind of got a lot of the behavior of a, of a short course truck or just a general independent suspension truck, but yet you get to do it in a cool cage type environment. Or environment, uh, vehicle, you know what I mean. That was guys no throttle input or brake input at all. I just wanted to see what it was like what it would be like just to take it off the jump. <laughs> Seriously, so much fun. Whoa. Not a lot of control, guys. Like I was trying to bring the front end up there. It was a little bit, nothing crazy, but definitely you don't have the control of, let's say like, you know, if you had big monster truck tires on here or anything like that. But you can see it wheelies a bit. So obviously if you thickened up the diff fluid in the center, you'd, uh, you'd have a little animal here on your hands. All right, we're gonna try for a slightly bigger jump. And then that's it, because I don't want to push my luck today. Oh, man. And you know what? We're still good. And you know what? I know, guys, I'm seeming like I'm surprised. And it's because everything I've watched of this vehicle, you know, it just seemed like the, you know, the, the guys were taking smaller jumps and breaking it super easy and uh, I, don't know, I don't feel that to be the case so far this thing's been a lot of fun I could see where well upgrading stuff is obviously going to give you a little bit more confidence oh, oh yeah <laughs> let's give it some wide open throttle here Whew. okay ABC seems to be too high for this type of traction because you can see see how it starts to wiggle that's avc so we're just gonna dial that down there see how that does actually let's leave that up yeah that's a bit better that's actually a lot better Usually stuff like that doesn't happen until like way into the throttle. But yeah. Wide open throttle. Whee! Now I know from driving this thing that it does get warm. And I mean, there's no stock fan on it or anything like that. There's wide open throttle again, guys. Um, oh my God. And there's a little bit of brake. <laughs> So what I want to do is I just want to pull it in and kind of check it out, see what the temps are like. The one thing with this vehicle is it's super easy because you've only got the two pins at the front. Flip it up. You just see it's yeah, a little bit warm, nothing crazy, but it's the motor I'm more interested in. Oh yeah. yeah. That's all I can do guys. So that's not me pretending. That's Friggin' dig. That's hot. So, you know, it's kind of funny because they market this as a 4S truck, but they don't put a fan or even a heatsink on the motor, which to me is just dumb. Um, because it, it, every time I've taken this thing out, no matter what kind of running I do with it, it's always, uh, the motor's always hot. ESC is good. 
you can feel a tad bit of warmth there, but there's nothing crazy or anything like that. But the motor itself, it's starting to cool down a little bit now, but like, you can barely keep your fingers on it. You know what? I'm not even gonna care. I feel like this motor is probably not what should be in this vehicle. I understand they put a 1900 kV because, hey, it's a little bit lower. Um, it would, you know, it should have a little bit more torque for a vehicle like this, but I feel like this isn't the motor for this vehicle. And I mean, again, I'd rather be running a sensor combo. Anyway, so you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna run it. And if the motor goes, the motor goes. All right, guys, what I did was I brought the jump down here just so it's on flat ground. Obviously there won't be big air or anything like that, which I think is good, but I just want to see how it behaves. <laughs> uh, little baby jump. Yeah, you definitely don't have a ton of throttle there to bring up the front end. You can kind of see there, that was me just giving her and it still kind of wanted to nosedive. Even there guys, I actually gave it a blip of throttle and you can see it didn't do much. But again, this is not what this vehicle's for. I just wanted to kind of bring it out and have some, you know, just general bash with it, just have some fun. But it is, you know what, it's at the same time, if you kind of, if you hit the jump right, if you hit it right with the throttle, and I mean, there's no grip on this jump either. It does surprisingly do really, really well. And I feel like, you know, I've come here before with other trucks like slashes and stuff like that, running like, you know, a standard size short course wheel and tire. And they're definitely not as much fun. They kind of bog down a little bit in the grass and stuff where this thing seems to do pretty well. I've said it though a few times guys and I'm gonna say it again. I would like this thing to have more power. Yeah, it's if you if you can just kind of hit the throttle just as you're hitting, like just as you get to the ramp, if you can kind of go full throttle, it keeps it, it keeps it leveled pretty good. which I did not do there. Good though. That guy's was no, again, no uh, control after I jumped. So no brake, no throttle, no trying to lift anything. That was just the truck itself taking the jump. little bit of break. You know what guys, I feel like I've been saying this a lot with this truck, the laser nut. This is a seriously fun 
you know, little machine. It's, uh, oh, oh, here's a test. Let's see how we did. Yeah, we're still good. Besides from the clump of grass. And here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but. You know, what kind of makes it fun is that it's not perfect in the sense that, you know, it's, it's, hey, it's not a jack of all trades truck, but it kind of just, it kind of, it definitely keeps you on your toes. Put it that way. All right, we're gonna try for a little more throttle this time. And no. I'm assuming it's the skinny tires that are keeping this thing like trying to There we go. So that wasn't bad. Uh oh, that was me. That was me hitting the brake when I should have been hitting the throttle. Thought I heard a funny little crunch there. But, uh, uh, still looks fine. Come on. Nope. All right, guys, I came inside to do the usual ending to my videos. And I was just, you know, I looked up at the Haas and I thought, I wonder what the wheels and tires would look like on the laser nut. Given the fact that today, you know, when I was ripping around, I feel like, you know, the, the skinnier tires kind of, you know, sort of affected the overall handling of the truck. And wow, um, this looks really good. What I'm going to...
All right, guys, I think that looked really, really good. Like to the point where I actually am going to have to try and run this combo on the laser nut because I think it looks wicked. However, it's kind of a weird turn for the video. I did notice something. <laughs> the hexes on the laser nut are very thin. So when you actually screw down this tire, it doesn't spin because of the fact that the, the hex, I can actually bring you guys over here and just show you guys on the Haas. You can see how much deeper, like how much just thicker the hex is itself, the 12 millimeter hex. So what I did to see if it would work, and it did, was I took the one of the hexes off the Haas, replaced the Losi one, and it goes straight on the same pin and everything. Nothing changes. You just basically pull this, pull the one hex off, put the Traxxas one on, and it does fit. The only thing, and I don't know, yeah, you can tell, is you're not very much into the threads. So I would say you'd probably have to try to find yourself like maybe like more of a, just a lock nut um, or something like a, a different style, something that would basically grip a little bit tighter. Because I don't know how well this would work. You probably get maybe four ish turns type thing, but. Either way, I think that looks awesome. Oh uh, yeah, that looks that looks really really cool. Anyways, I'm gonna get the uh, stock tires back on there, and we'll finish up. All right, video. guys, we got the wheels and tires back on, and you know what? I'm a broken record when it comes to this thing because I feel like all I ever say is how much fun it is to drive. But you know what? It really is. So many other YouTubers had sort of not they had talked me out of getting it, not directly to me, just their videos, and. To me, guys, this thing has been an absolute blast. It's held up. I haven't broken anything. I haven't done any super hardcore jumping or anything like that, but I've had fun with it. And that's, hey, you know what? That's all that matters. Putting the Haas wheels and tires on here is something I'm definitely going to do. I'm, I'm going to get this thing out, hopefully, guys, in the next couple of days with those wheels and tires on and uh, just give it a run just to see how it is. Because even though these wheels and tires are fun, the stock wheels and tires are fun, I would just like to try something a little bigger, something with a little bit more weight, just to see how this thing would behave off a jump, uh, you know, for correcting and stuff like that. I think it would be pretty fun. But anyways, guys, there you have it. The Losi Laser Nut is a blast. And if you are, you know, if you've been looking at this vehicle this last year and you've been kind of contemplating, you know, whether or not you want to get it, if, hey, if what you saw in this video is the type of running you do, then you know what? Get yourself a laser nut because I've had it out now on, you know, dirt. I've had it on rocks. I've had it climbing up hills on rocks. I've, you know, had fun just on grass. And every single time I take it out, I enjoy it. It loves all the terrains and it's just an absolute blast. But anyways, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And there's a couple of pics.